Hello beautiful Scorpios, how are you today? Welcome to the channel, Irish Donatero. Is it a fling or is it the real thing? That is a question we are about to answer. And I want to welcome all new visitors and thank all of my beautiful subscribers. Loyal heart, nice beginning Scorpio. That is the overall energy. Now we are looking at only your person, not you. Although you will come into play, obviously, if it's your reading. Uh, but message in a bottle and higher power. So your person's spiritual. Okay, so let's look. Now we're going to do a deep dive into thoughts, feelings, intentions, and actions. And so that's going to be what we're putting, what I'm going to look at right now. We'll clarify everything. There will be a story, obviously, to the cards and how you have arrived on your path where you are today. So their thoughts, okay, their thoughts, okay, their feelings, their intentions, and their actions, okay. Interesting. Interesting energy with that tower card with two absolutely glorious cards. I will explain that what, what it means, and it may not be what you think. It's probably much better. All right, so let's go ahead and clarify the cards. So you may be dealing with the Ten of Wands. You may be dealing with a Sagittarius. Four of Swords could be a, a Libra. King of Wands is Leo. Ten of Pentacles is... Um, Gemma, uh, Gemma. It is my sister's sign, my brother's sign of Virgo. Judgment card is Scorpio. That is your energy in the house. Ace of Wands is fire sign. The uh, Justice card is Libra. The Eight of Wands is Sagittarius. The Six of Pentacles is Taurus. The Four of Wands is Aries. The Tower card is Aries energy as well as the Empress is Taurus energy. All right, so... Now that we've done the signs, let's, why is the Ten of Wands here? First of all, your person feels or thinks, thinks that they have created an undue burden in your life. They feel as though you have, they, it's funny, thoughts and feelings oftentimes go together, right? So what I'm seeing is they feel guilty. They feel as though you have given them a great deal. You've given nothing but flowers and you're hunched over and they think you're working too hard on the relationship. They really would like for you to step back, take a break. You know, they're really looking at you as someone who's healing from something that had nothing to do with them from the past. The King of Wands, they think of you as having a very, very strong impact when you present yourself in the world, they feel as though you're very much a leader energy, a very strong, powerful, dynamic energy. Um, you know, I always say devil with a blue dress on. But, you know, this is a really beautiful indicator that they find you to be passionate, fun, very much a person who uh, puts themselves out into the public eye. All right, so what do they say? They think that you could be the one. Nice. Ten of Cups card. They feel as though, you know, when they think of you, they feel love. When they think of you, they feel as though they want to give equal take. That's equal give and take. We see, look at this Leo energy is here twice now. So they definitely, and look at the judgment card is coming up. This is so interesting because it's here. Interesting. Okay. So what we're seeing here is in their thoughts, they think you may be the one. They feel as though you're working too hard. Ooh, there's a little bit of a card there hidden. So they do think it's time to make a decision. And they feel a little bit guilty because they haven't made their intentions clear to you. Their intentions in terms of this relationship, their thoughts are that you could be the one. When they think of you, they do think of someone who has been wounded in the past, someone who wants equal give and take, and who had to release someone in the in your past, Scorpio, that you had to release someone um, so that you could move forward in your life. Um, we also see they think of you as really being very uh, personable, very sexy, uh, that you're highly desirable, that you have your, you know, you're really pulled together. They see you as someone who's really got it all together. Very successful here at King of Wands. 
they see you as impulsive sometimes and as someone who really likes to put themselves out there. The Ten of Pentacles energy and their feelings. They feel like they would just like to establish a beautiful home with you, a legacy home. The Ace of Coins is clarifying the Ten of Coins, which is Virgo energy. This is all about building something of value. The Ten of Coins is a legacy marriage, a legacy relationship. There are children, there are pets, there's tuition for college. There's a very abundant home life. It's leaving a legacy to the next generation. It speaks so clearly to their intention. The Ace of Coins is often seen as the engagement ring, uh, and this person has been thinking along those lines. The Judgment card, they have released something in the past in their heart space. What did they release in the past in their heart space? Libra energy, somebody with whom they had some sort of legal commitment. They either owned property, rented a house together, or rented a property together, but it also is a Libra energy. So it does look a partnership um, was called to an end, and they're trying to find their balance, and they have let go of that past association. The Ace of Wands is clarified by the Page of Pentacles. Your person probably likes to talk and talk to you in a very sexy way. In their heart space, they have their emotions are very much tied up with their thoughts. This person probably has some air sign energy or um, definitely some water sign energy in their chart because thoughts and feelings are very much almost the same thing to them. When we look at their intentions, a justice card, they want to be fair with you. Look at that. The lover's card, they want to make a choice. They want to move forward. They feel as though they want to transform their life. They want to create a new relationship with you where they've left an old one here in the past. They feel like it's really time to step up. So their intention is that they're going to step up with that Libra energy, keeping balance. We have the six of coins here. Again, equal give and take is their intention. Um, they're a little, they're still undecided. We don't see a full decision being made quite yet. But your person, I feel, wants to, out of the blue, looks as though they're going to offer commitment. And the reason I say that is that the foundation that is in place right now is not something that is sustainable. That's how they see it. They need to rebirth the relationship. They need to infuse a lot of their energy into it. They need to make a decision. And that decision is Empress card. That is manifestation of beautiful love. And there's a lot of love here. And we also have the four of wands, stability, buying a home together. You know, that's the bride and groom dancing on top of the world that they have created. You know, um, really buying a home together, creating a foundation. And this person is leaving the past behind, beautiful. It looks as though they went through a very tough time in which they felt unstable and now they're stable. And we see that you represent the sun card to them and the ten of coins again. So we really see a person who's gone through it, you know, who's been through it. That this is a person with a loyal heart. But the message in a bottle is you are going to have a surprise outcome because this is their action sequence. So it does look like they have a message for you. It will be very startling. It will be very shocking, but they want to work with you. And they do have very strong spiritual beliefs, and they are moving towards you. Let's look and see what the messages of love are for you, Scorpio. What are the messages of love, oracle messages about this love relationship? This person really feels as though they haven't been quite fair, but they want to step up now. But they weren't ready. To be perfectly honest, they weren't quite ready earlier. So we get a decision. It's time to decide about the relationship. And I feel as though they do it very suddenly and in unexpected ways. I feel as though they could suggest moving in right away. When we get the tower card here, that's about foundation. 
And so this person wants to shore up the foundation. Whatever's gone before, they want to make it better. Forgiveness. They want, they also want you to forgive them for being a bit of a mess, you know, for, for making you, you know, work so hard. They definitely recognize that you were carrying a burden in the relationship, in the early part of the relationship. Let's get one more card for you here. Scorpio, why is the death card here? Tell us about this death card. Stability, okay, good. The death of instability, this relationship can stand the test of time as evidenced by the Four of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles, marriage cards, and really seeing the glory of your divinity, Scorpio. So that's your reading. I hope you found it helpful. Send some love. Send you love from Chicago. Bye-bye, Scorpio.